Why are you not sleeping at this hour of the midnight, child of God? Why are you not sleeping? In my area is past 2 a.m. in the morning. Where people are sleeping. You know, God led it in my heart to pray for someone. He said, some people are having sleepless nights because of the challenges they are going through. Please, I want to tell you that it shall end in testimonies for you. I don't know what is going on in your life now. I don't know the pain you're passing through. I don't know the shame, the reproach. And you wept all night. When you are supposed to be, to be sleeping, you are crying. And you are asking God, when will I have my own testimony? When will I have my own results? When will I prosper? When will I become like others? When will I become successful? When will I get married? When will I have my own children? You are about to lose so many things. You have invested so much on. You are about to lose your marriage because of no child. You are about to lose a relationship for no just cause. You are asking God, when will I have my own job? When will that business prosper? When will I have my own testimony? And you don't know what to do. I've tried everything to become somebody in life. I pray for you at this hour of the midnight. Let that same God that changed the story of Jabez, the same God that changed the story in the name of Jacob, that same God that remembered Hannah, the God of the true Hebrew men. May that same God come for you. May that same God wipe that tears away. The Bible says, "Anyone who goes out weeping may endure for a night, but definitely joy must come in the morning." Child of God, I join my faith with you. I let your joy come. Let your season of pain, let your season of tears be over. Let your season of reproaches be over. I pray. That God will turn your nice season of pain into testimonies. I pray that thing you fear will not come to pass. That thing you fear concerning your marriage, concerning your health. That thing you fear concerning your life. I don't know what to have been diagnosed of. As if the clock is ticking. Tick, tick, tick. And you're in pain concerning that health issues. Let the palm of Gilead locate you. Let the God of fruitful women locate you. Let the God that blesses Esther in a strange land with a husband locate you. Let God that changes the story of men, pick men from nothing and make them somebody. May that same God locate you. Let God that changes situation, time and season, may that same God locate you. I pray for you this hour of the midnight. Let the chains of pain of reproaches, of shame, sadness, let it be destroyed out of your life. And I prophesy into your life before the end of the sea, before the end of the sea, God will move you from your present predicament. He will move you into your places of blessings and testimonies and honor and celebration. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. I want to tell you it's not over. God is watching. He is still faithful. He will come true for you. God will come true for you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Wipe away your tears. Wipe away your tears. Wipe away your tears. Your time to be favored. Your time to be remembered for good has come. We join our faith together and I declare, let God of heaven show forth for you. Let God break that cause, that covenant of shame and repeated pain in your life in Jesus' name.
Amen and Amen. God bless you.